In politics, where message is everything. I'm running for president to build an America for tomorrow. The Washington machine that gobbles up our freedoms. The smallest details could give candidates an edge. The picture that greets you on their official website, the background and colors, even the wording. Are you more likely to hand over your email when greeted with sign me up or count me in? There's tech that solves that problem and it's probably already catering to you. CNN has learned candidates from Rand Paul to Hillary Clinton are using it. Simple concept of an A-B test is sort of what underlies our platform, uh, which is an experiment. You know, if you go to a website and I go there, we might see different experiences, and then they'll measure which is the most effective. Dan Sirocco is a former Google engineer who left the company to run data analytics for Obama's campaign in 2007. He built personalization technology to get people to donate and vote. So here's an example of an experiment we ran back in 2008. And we started with a page that looks like this. It had a media section at the top and a button. We tried four buttons. Uh, these are the four we tried. Learn more, work best. We also tried a bunch of images, got a lot of data, and ultimately this was the best image. This was the family image with the whole family together in black and white. This was the last image that the uh, traditional political operatives would have picked for the homepage. Soroker says 40% more people signed up when they saw the combination of this picture and that button. Change has come to America. Soroker took the success of Obama's win and created his own company, Optimizely. The core of what we do is what actually helped Obama surpass the traditional big money. He sold the technology to a number of big companies, including CNN, which uses it for testing story placement, and political opponents like Mitt Romney. Jason Weinstein worked on Romney's campaign. One of the things that we did that worked really well was we focused on localized content. So if a visitor from the state of Florida came, they saw content related to Florida. Just including the word Florida increased our engagement by 19%. This technology allows campaigns and now a range of companies to experiment with personalized content. As for the political applications, Soroker says it's a game of money ball. In this case, uh, just like the Oakland A's uh, used data to decide who to field and who not to, uh, instead of what perhaps the scouts or the experts uh, would have suggested, they were able to you know, do very, very well. And so that's the idea of Moneyball, is doing more with less by using data to make better decisions. And Moneyball applied to politics looks like? At the core of it, it's about being humble. It's saying maybe we don't actually know what's best. Let's look at data and use that to help guide us.